In this video, I'll be showing another common problem that can happen in PyVision when trying to view the asset hierarchy and how to diagnose and resolve the problem. Here we see that some of the hierarchy is not showing. We're missing a lot of assets here. And some will show internal server error. Here in the PyVision error messages, we see a lot of communication errors. And if you try to navigate to the PyVision admin page, you'll see a HTTP error 503 service is unavailable. Now, this is a specific error, which means there is a problem with our PyVision application. PyVision application. To try to get more insight to the problem, you can open up the event viewer on the PyVision server and look under the Windows application logs for any errors. And here we see that we are getting access denied. So this is getting access denied for our Py message logs. So they're not being written anywhere except on the PyVision application itself. So since it's not able to write to the logs, we need to make sure the PyVision application pools are running. To do that, we open up IAS and go to our application pools. And here we see that the PyVision admin pool is stopped. So let's try to start that back up. And it appears to be started. So now that appears to be working, we should go back to PyVision and refresh the page, see if we're still getting the error. And we are, we're still getting the same exact error. And if we go back to IAS and refresh, it will see that the service is stopped again. So the PyVision admin pool is not able to be started. Now it's running as a service account. So let's try see if we can log on with that account. So we'll just open up any application. For this one, I'll do PySystem Explorer and we'll just run it as a different user. So we'll put in the account. And we do not have permissions on this account to be able to log in like this. So another way to test would be to go into the services And our web API and crawler should also be running as that same service account. So if we just take the crawler and try change the logon, and then any changes made will have to require a restart. So if we restart that, there we go, we have a logon failure. So there's something wrong with the password. So now we'll have to go to the domain controller and try to see if we can figure out why we're having a logon failure with this service account. So we go to admin active directory, find our service account, then go to properties and account. And first things that we notice is password never expires is not ticked. So most likely, most likely the password's expired and the account has been locked. So 
So we'll just have to change that. So we'll have to tick password never expires and apply that and unlock the account as well. And then we'll have to reset the password. All right, so that's saved. So if we go back to web one, we'll have to change the password here in our application pools. Do that, you just go to advanced settings, find the account, and reset the account and password. Now we'll have to do this for everywhere where we're using this account as well. And let's start that service. And we'll have to change it two more times here. and the last one in the application pools. After making changes in the Application pools will have to perform an IS reset. And now that that's restarted, there's two more places we have to change the account password and that is in our Pi Web API and Crawler. So we'll go to services, find the services again, and then we'll change them here. So for this, you go, you right click, go properties and log on. And then we'll have to restart both services. After they've restarted, we can go back to PyVision and check to see if it's working. We'll just refresh the page. And here we see the admin page is loaded and everything is being indexed. Yep, everything's got a green tick. So if we go back to Pi Vision, and navigate through our hierarchy, we'll see everything reappear. And let's clear these errors from before and there should be no more as we're navigating through the hierarchy.